Hello everyone, this is Tina. How are you doing today? We are gonna uh, continue on the n plus one problem and this is the last uh, solution to solve n plus one problem. I know, okay. And uh, this one we're gonna choose to using sub select. And uh, this option also is a hibernate extension, which is not a part of a JPS specification. So be careful you use that, okay? So let's uh, go to the code. How to do that? We are gonna continue uh, using this demo, which is batch size or sub select, uh, which we did before is using batch size to solve the n plus one problem, okay? Now we want to do the fit sub select how to do that. Uh, previously we're using batch size. I make a comment here, okay? And now we're using fetch and here using fetch mode dot sub select. Okay, so what's gonna do this one? This one is uh, hmm, it is gonna turn n plus one query to be one query okay uh, sorry one to one query okay so let's go to the demo here let me comment this one and now i will do yes make a uncomment this part okay so here i make a query and uh, i go get every customer from this sales rep right so here gonna have one query and here gonna have n query when we fetch the value from the customer and uh, sub select means it is gonna using one query okay and the query is using sub select query to fetch all the customers okay and uh, to to have a better look i want to turn this one to be true so it's gonna be formatted and let me show you the result after i add this sub select okay previous gonna have four okay here uh, one query to get all the sales rep and four queries to get each customer collection for each sales rep okay and now we only have two query one is get a sales rep and one sub selected query to get all the customers for all the sales rep Let's uh, take a look at, and you won't see any queries between four, three and four. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at and see now between three and four, see here, between three and four, no queries anymore. And we're gonna have uh, two queries, okay? And after one, see here, uh, this one is insertion, okay? After one, we have one query. This query is when we get the result list, it have a query to get all the sales rep, right? From the sales rep. And now between uh, two and three, the first time I'm trying to loop the sales rep, you can see here, three, and, oh sorry, uh, three and four. The first time I trying to get the customers for the sales rep, it make a giant query here. See here, giant query. And let's take a look at this query. Select from customer and the left join address, and this is a part here. Okay, so to get the customers, he have a sub select here. See here, sub select. And here using in, he has a sub select, which is get all the IDs from a sales rep. And then when I get the customer, he makes sure all the customers are inside this sub select. So it's using one query to select everything. And if you still don't understand, let me show you the from the diagram, okay? Okay, and here, 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 previously, we have one query, right? From sales rep here. Previously, we have one query, which is, uh, sorry, I'm using another color, okay? From sales rep, okay? Select, okay? And this query gonna give our, give us a result and this result in our case gonna contains four sales rep here, 
Okay, four. And which is sales rep one, sales rep two, sales rep three, sales rep four. And now, when I trying to get the customers from each sales rep, and it gonna make a queries right here to get the customer collection. Okay, for sales rep one. Okay, and it gonna make a select. Okay, for customer two, get the. Uh, for sales rep two, get the customer. It's gonna make a query, and also same thing for the customer three. Uh, so for sales rep three, to get his customer, it's gonna make a select, and also for uh, sales rep four to get the customer, it's gonna make a select. And now we change to using the fetch mode is a sub select. What is it doing? Sub select here. Okay. When the first time we want to get a customer from uh, the customer one, he will make a giant query. Okay, he will only make one query. This query will select from customer, and uh, where customer ID in. Okay, in here will make another query. Here will select. All the sales rep ID from sales rep, sales rep. So when we're using in, it's gonna select all the uh, customers, right? Belongs to this sales rep. So he will make only one query to get all the collection here. Okay, one query because here it have a sub select. Here it has a sub select here. See here, you have a sub select to get all the sales rep. And oh, oh sorry, here I have something a little bit wrong, okay? I do have a join, okay? Join and the customer ID, uh, sales rep ID is used here. Uh, not a customer ID, sorry, okay? Join and the sales rep ID is here. Anyway, the idea is previously we have n plus one queries, right? Which is n is this part, n select here. Uh, one is this one, okay? Now it turns into one plus one. Wait, where is the one? This select, sub-select is a one. And uh, this select for sales rep is one. That's the idea, okay? One plus one. And also, uh, sub-select is uh, static. It's always on. If here, previously we do a, what do we do? Previously, what we do here is do what? Uh, loop, right? It makes sense to load all the customers. Now, I only want to get the customers from the first sales rep, which is I only want to have uh, here. I only want to get this customer. I don't need the four other customers. But uh, if we're using sub select, no. It will fetch everything for you. Let me show you, okay? Now I change to get only the first sales rep's customer, okay? It was still using the sub-select. It will still load all the customers for all the sales rep in the cache. You cannot turn it off. That's a problem. Okay, take a look at. Eh? What did I did? Insert, insert. Oh, this is insert. Sorry. And here I have one, which is uh, one query to get a sales uh, sales rep right collection. This collection, okay. And now as you can see here. Even though here I say I only want to get the first sales rep, but here you can see the select statement, no changes. Okay, here, here. where customer sales rep ID is inside this uh, sales rep ID. Exactly the same, no changes. No matter you, you want one, you want two, you want the whole, it's gonna select the whole for us. That's not a good part. Uh, when we're using sub select, because sometimes we might fetch more than what we wanted. Okay, 
uh, that's it for this video and uh, thank you for watching if you still have question on subselect please let me know okay leave a comment and if you like my video please share and uh, subscribe thank you very much okay see you next time bye bye